weather conditions are, it's, the project is really a negotiation, and, and the negotiation with the site in the Netherlands in general, the wind is really a huge consideration. Uh, the wind is luckily southwesterly, so it's, uh, the, the containers are oriented in a direction where we're downwind. So in fact, it's really good uh, for, the, for the sounds, but what it's doing is it's intermittent, there are gusts, so you're getting kind of a chopping up of the signal uh, in terms of what the ambient sound um, the construction is uh, sea containers uh, that are used as an air volume, uh, an elastic air volume for a rotating blade uh, impeller loudspeaker that allows for uh, infrasound to be produced by pushing air in and out of the container. Uh, and another set of transducers that are producing just slightly audible realm uh, sound being amplified in resonance too. So there's a huge kind of architecture that's hidden inside uh, that uh, containers, but in general, they're all producing in phase, uh, reproducing a pattern of error that was just on the other side of the harbor recorded uh, from a few weeks ago. Have you thought about another um, uh, your project you, which you're going to have in the Sonic Acts or not uh, within the frames of Sonic X Festival? Well, it's uh, every project is always ideally shows you the way to the next project. This one has shown me about five different paths out uh, and I think is going to keep me busy. It was originally supposed to be really a rather short project, um, but there was so much interesting information uh, and topics that came up with it that I'm assuming that it will continue actually quite a bit further. But I can't say in which exactly artery it will manifest. Uh, is your um, constructions or like construction projects are really fragile and depends on the weather? For example, we to, to, to tonight's like east-west um, uh, eastern wind, and uh, it's uh, yeah, there is no rain. It's sunny, and how does it? What is it depends on? The project really is a negotiation with the site, so I really depend on the site for the project to either manifest or not manifest. Uh, so there is. Uh, it's this thing that I said about uh, kind of a realization with, when John Cage goes to environmental sound, he says you just have to let sounds be. I'm at the opposite set of the spectrum. I come to the same uh, territory and I say, well, if you really want to engage with environmental sound, you need to take everything into account. You start need to start to negotiate the weather, the ground territory, the animals that are living there, the people that are moving through, uh, the amount of uh, molecules that are in the air. All of these things uh, somehow play into it. This negotiation. So, with some things we're lucky, with other things we're unlucky. But that's just the way. It, there is no ideal condition in which the piece is to be heard. Uh, and in that sense, I'm just happy for any condition, and I'm happy that you can hear something, that you can experience something. Like and the final question: What uh, does the sound mean for you? The, the word "sound." What is it? Um, that's a large question. It, the, it, it means, in a sense, less and less and more and more at the same time. It means less and less something specific in terms of either an energy or a vibration. Uh, but at the same time, it becomes more and more inclusive of all these other kinds of phenomena, historical phenomena, and social relation phenomena, but also physical phenomena. So it, it's everything that makes that specific meaningful and those meanings are contradictory, mixed up, historical uh, and immediate and all of those things at once.